all of the courses are trying to bridge the language of academia with empirical realities, the ways in which people live their lives in the Middle East, North Africa, Arab and Islamic worlds. Activism, solidarity, proper scholarly work. Different twist on the subject was an interesting thing and that's why I chose to do a master, is to actually sort of broaden my perspective and my knowledge. That I am much more confident than before and I am also more clear on what I want to do. Independence of thinking and always looking critically at a region that is often portrayed a, a bit uh, as a caricature, I think. We have the largest concentration of specialists working in the study of Islam uh, in a particular department anywhere in the country and arguably probably anywhere in Europe as well. We created a safe place for people to work without any uh, fear or intimidation on various aspects of Palestine in the past and in the present. You know, Gulf Studies as a field um, really was defined by the work at Exeter, so it's something we're, we're very proud of. So students are asked to create projects that allows them to explore a topic in depth and they're again driving that inquiry themselves. We lived in this uh, in this uh, in classes like a family. Uh, the city, like Exeter, is um, is very good for study, uh, which is quiet, small, and beautiful. Prior to starting uh, the master at Exeter, I tried out several careers. I worked in a law firm. I worked in Parliament for a short time. I went on to do the masters after that, and I found the research fascinating, and that kind of helped me help me be clear in my mind as to what I actually wanted to go and do um, in, in my career, which was which was research. We're very proud, actually, of the PhDs that have been done here, which have really moved on the discipline and um, shifted paradigms in their various areas. What you do is really only limited by um, your curiosity and, and your desire to find a burning question.